What's going on, everyone? So one of the things that has been really hit on uh, for the upcoming Scream 7 is that this is going to be a darker, scarier Scream film. Now, obviously, we'll have to wait and see. Um, obviously, everything right now is just rumor, uh, but it does make sense, right? This current adaptation, Scream 5 and 6, and now moving into Scream 7, has been darker than the previous Scream films, particularly Ghostface, but... Scream 5 in particular, I thought did a really good job of building tension. You know, however you feel about the film, I know people seem to really love or hate Scream 5. The build-up, anticipation, and the way that they, you know, kind of curved expectations at times, I thought was very well done. Scream 6 didn't really focus so much on tension building in my opinion compared to Scream 5 like every or not every scene but most of the scenes did a really good job of building tension right like Wes's scene you know from them leaving and kind of foreshadowing things to him in the shower oh is he about to get it right now in the shower to oh he's you know going around and opening cabinets and it's like oh it's about to go oh oh no it did oh it, oh no it's coming and no no Right. And then boom, all of a sudden you, you see him get, you know, the knife in the neck. And then same thing, Judy running home. You know, he's a good boy. Please don't kill my baby. She's running. I'm coming, baby. And boom, just getting built this this intense scene. Got you on this roller coaster of emotions to then deliver. Um, I mean, even from Vince's death to Tara's death, right? Like or not death, uh, Tara's opening scene. Correction, Tara's opening scene in which she gets attacked, right? Like, all of those scenes did a really good job of building tension. Dewey, as much as you, you know, love or hate or indifferent about Dewey's death, did a good job of building that, building that expectation. When you see those elevator doors close, your heart just sinks because you know what's coming. Um, but even doing a good job of mirroring past scenes so scream 5 was in many ways a carbon copy of scream 96 but they did do a few things that were very reminiscent just different right like you know the the, the basement scene right with mindy and and amber where you know you you're like oh i've seen this before right and you know that that angst of like oh you know what's going to come is is starting to, to weigh in and it's starting to build up and you're like okay oh oh it's coming it's coming and then boom nothing ends up happening right obviously in hindsight amber turns out to be the killer which you know spoiler alert if you didn't know that and you're watching a scream seven video <laughs> right like i don't know what to tell you but point being is that if scream seven is is going to be a darker more gritty scream film i think they need to get closer to scream five than they do scream six i've said it before if they if they could kind of mirror or or marry probably the better word um if they could kind of marry Ghostface from scream six with the scenes and just brutality of scream five i think you'd have a perfect ghost face and what i mean by that Again, in Scream 5, they did a really good job of building tension, right? But Ghostface was also brutal and realistic, right? Like, every death, for the most part, were all sneak attacks. They were all kind of ambush attacks, right? Think of Vince. Boom, sneaks up behind, distracted. Hey, look over here. Sneak up behind, boom. Just quick throat slash boom, done. Right, or stabbed in the neck, boom, done. Um, same thing with Wes, right? Wes gets distracted, looks around, turns around, boom, ghost face is there, right in the neck. Judy, running up the stairs, you think, oh no, it's too late, ghost face is probably gone, boom, ghost face comes out of the bushes, takes her out, right? Dewey, Dewey wins the fight. Again, however you feel about Dewey's death. You know, a lot of people feel like they did Dewey wrong, but... He, got, he gets distracted, which a lot of people say, like, oh, Dewey would never do that. 
go watch the previous Scream movies and then tell me that Dewey wouldn't do that? I mean, Scream 2, Dewey is being chased by Ghostface. He knows Ghostface is trying to track him down. And he is just lackadaisical, running, oh, la di da di da ends up stepping on pizza and is sitting there playing with the cheese and, oh, like, what? And just, just having a jolly good time being distracted. So much so Ghostface can sneak up behind him and stab him. Dewey got hit in the head and knocked out, or not completely knocked out, but, you know, fell out of the stairs because of a butt end of the knife. Like, that's Dewey's character. But Dewey, again, wins the fight, Ghostface distracts, boom, takes him out. Right? Like, it's, it's those type of things that you knew when Ghostface had somebody in their sights in Scream 5, you knew that it was coming. Right? Ghostface also wasn't clumsy and lackadaisical and stumbling all over themselves and stuff. Right? It was, it was very to the point. Right? Like, Ghostface didn't mess around. And I like that. And I want them to maintain that. Uh, and then the addition of Scream 6, I thought the militant sort of ghost face, right? How crafty and tactical and and almost menacing ghost face was, right? And I think if you could kind of marry those two to where you had this well-trained, prepped, brutal, just to the point, building tension type of ghost face, I just think you can really create that that kind of scarier, darker scream film, right? Tension and build up the, the setting of a scene is so important, right? Like, obviously... You know, like, you look at, like, the classic Scream 96. Yes, they did an excellent job of building tension. They set the scene. They they, they kind of took you on this journey almost, right? And Ghostface was a little more playing with your food type compared to what we've seen in Scream 5 and 6, right? But you can still kind of lay the foundation take us by the hand and kind of take us on this journey of a, a scene that is being built, that is being established, that is being created, and ultimately leads to what we know is all going to come, right? Because especially early on, and, you know, the first three-fourths of the movie, we know if we see Ghostface or we have that type of scene initiated where you like you know it's focused on an individual character we know the end result we know what is coming so now it's up to you as the writer and filmmaker to lead us on that journey that although leads to the expectation we all know and the conclusion we all know that is coming but the journey each time is different, right? Each, yes, we're all going down, we're all headed to the same location, but there's five different paths you can take. So give us, you know, those paths and lead us to the end result. And that's what I really want to see with this upcoming screen, right? Keep, things in perspective keep things within reason keep things simple right like scream 96 was so successful because it's a very simplistic movie you know like you had the horror slasher craze and then you had this influx where everyone was trying to be too much outside the box right and it became stale, it became plain, or it just became ridiculous. And Scream 96 kind of was just like, hey, let's get back to what made the slasher so successful to begin with and give a fresh take. 
And now it's had success, right? We have certain expectations and, you know, certain elements we know with the Scream movie that you're just going to get with the Scream movie, and that's fine. So again, keep it simple. Keep it basic. You can create new expectations and new journeys through your scenes, through your storytelling, through the the differences in, in Ghostface, really. But as always, this is a discussion. Best question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Do you agree with my points? Do you disagree with my points? Do you think like, yes, tension is key. Take us on that journey. Um, you know, do you have any other things you'd like to add? However you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me not. So we enjoy these types of videos. Truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. What are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.